guys welcome to 254 celebrity channel if you are new here feel free to like comment and subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for the support and without further ado let's get right into the tea now pastor robert brale aka robert murade like moto hikago would call him so yesterday he had an interview with jalango on his bungana jala show on youtube and he addressed several things like the whole COVID-19 saga where netizens thought he was faking being infected with the virus as a publicity stunt. Another quite interesting thing he addressed was their who boy allegations. Now for those who don't know, in the past several people have come forward to claim that Robert Burrell has come to money from them and one of these people is one popular actress who goes by the name Nini Washera. So Nini Washera revealed on a show called Janjaruka on YouTube how Pastor Robert Burrell scammed 250,000 shillings from her by pretending to be a car dealer. So I'm looking for a car and I'm just telling everyone about it. So when I tell him, he's like, oh, I'm a car dealer. So I decide, I trust him at some point and I give him 250,000 shillings to go to Mombasa. He's shown me pictures of a car to come and bring this car to me from Mombasa to Nairobi, already at that point I should have known I was going to get caught. So I give him the money, he goes off, he's talking to me throughout this whole period, he gets to the coast, he's talking to me, he gets to the car, takes pictures of the car, he's talking to me, he's driving back, I don't hear from him. I go to the office in Westlands, another company works there, it is with the asking Robert, which is the name of the guy who had conned me. Many years later, I find a com uh, an advertisement in a newspaper that says that there's a pastor in town who's going to pray for single women to get into couples, into marriages, and it's this guy, Robert, who's now a pastor. And this story always comes up every time Robert Burrell manages to trend. And so yesterday, he finally decided to talk about his side of the story after Jalango asked him about it. And this is what he had to say. Everybody's asking me here, what is this thing? What is your relationship with Nini Washera? Let, Washera. let me address the story. Okay, please no. dress it once and this is the first time Robert is going to tell us the truth and nothing but the truth about this situation. One thing you must understand, hear me. I don't live in Qatar. I live in Nairobi. Okay? The last, if somebody wants to look for me, where am I hiding? I live here. You understand what I'm saying? I have been on live TV. You are in Miale right I'm now. I'm in Miale. By the way, it's live. Con <laughs> Convent Drive. Yes. If but anybody was looking for you, I'm here. they would have seen the poster and they knew here. where to get I you. I posted it on my social media plan. First and foremost, just not going deep into it, I've never been a car dealer. What is my witness? Never sold a car? I don't even have the, the ins and outs of car dealing. The day I wanted to get a car. Is it you told me? me? Yes, <laughs> it is you. Your Mercedes. Yes. So there we have it. It's nothing surprising really because it's not like we were expecting Pastor Robert Burrell to sit there and admit coming in Iwashera. At the end of the day, it's only him and Ini who really knows what happened. And being that there has been several other allegations against him, so I don't really know what to believe. Anyway guys, that's all for now. Go ahead and comment your thoughts on the comment section below. Like this video and for more updates, subscribe. And until next time, bye!